Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Today's lesson is accentuate the negative 3.3. It is all about the division of integers. Today's lesson is on page 47 and 48, A through B. Your ace problems are going to be 7 through 11, 22, 27 through 28, and 33. Your learning target is that I can divide integers in real life situations. So here are your notes. We want to make sure that we have the title of the notes, that we're making sure that they're complete, that we have the name, date, and crew, and that we have the page numbers so that we can reference this in our textbook if we need to. Division of integers. Division, division is just the inverse, the opposite of multiplication. It's just taking multiplication and switching it around. Instead of how many are in a group of this, we want to know how many groups can I make from this. So the rules are pretty much the same. And you want to copy these rules down for sure. Rule one, if the signs are different, the answer is always negative. Rule two, if the signs are the same, the answer is always positive. Let's practice this a little bit. OK, negative 15 minus 3. Well, I know I'm going to have 15. Oh, not 15. I know it's going to be 5, right? Because 15 divided by 3 is 5. Which sign am I going to take? Well, they have different signs. Negative. Negative 30 divided by 3. I know it's going to equal 10. Positive or negative? Same size, signs. It's going to be a positive 10. If I have 4 divided by negative 4, I get 1, but it's a negative 1 because they have different signs, positive and a negative. 12 divided by negative 3 is going to be negative 4. 5, we have 20, negative 20 divided by 5. We're going to get negative 4. And for negative 25 divided by negative 5, we end up getting 5 positive because a negative and a negative make a positive. All right. Next. Why do signs work the way they do in division? You know, why, why do we end up getting it, this answer? Now, we could, I could go the easy way and say, well, it's the opposite of multiplication, right? We use the same rules of multiplication as division for finding the sign of a shape, uh, sign of an integer, um, because multiplication and division are really well linked. What I could also say is that in the language of math, Division can be seen as how many groups of this can fit into that, right? So if I had 10 divided by 5, I, ha I start with 10. How many groups of 5 can I fit into 10? Well, how many 2s can I fit into negative 20? Well, I know that 10 are going to fit in there, but positive 2s are incapable of fitting into 20, just incapable of fitting in there. So it has to be a negative answer for it to be true. Now, how many negative 4s can fit into 40? This is a, into negative 40. This is a very different question. We want to know the number. We want to know the quantity. How many groups? Well, we can fit 10 negative 4s into 40. We make sure it's positive. Now, these aren't really backed up mathematically. They're just an easy way to kind of think of it. And if you want to view this as a big waste of your time, go ahead and just remember division, multiplication, same rules with integers. Here's your coursework. Lesson 3.3 practice starts on page 47 through 48, A through B. And ACE problems are going to be 7 through 11, 22, 27 through 28, and 33. Make sure you check page numbers 47 and 48 for this that we have the title, we have a name, date, and crew. All right, ladies and gentlemen, have fun.